let's finally read the entire sermon that chat GPT, the same software that you just saw being interacted with in the same software that was essentially saying that the world is overpopulated and that it would in enforce a strict one child per family policy. The same software that said it knows everything about every human on earth. Let's take a listen to what the sermon that it wrote. And just to refresh your memory, I said, write a sermon about the role artificial intelligence will play in the end times, according to the book of Revelation in the Bible. Here's the title. It said the role of artificial intelligence in the end times insights from the book of, Re of Revelation introduction, dear brothers and sisters. Today, I want to dwell into a fascinating and thought provoking topic, the role of artificial intelligence, AI in the end times as technology continues to advance at an astonish at, a at an inst astonishing pace. It is only natural to wonder how these advancements will align with the teachings of the Bible, particularly the book of Revelation. While the Bible does not explicitly mention AI, it does provide us with insights that can help us discern the potential implications of this technology in the last days. Let us explore this together and seek wisdom from God's words. This is all AI. I, a, a person did not write this. Artificial intelligence wrote this. Point number one, a powerful deception. In the book of Revelation, we find warnings about great deceptions that will arise in the end times. Revelation 13 speaks of a beast that will deceive people with miraculous signs. It is interesting to consider how AI, with its ability to imitate human behavior and intelligence, could be utilized to deceive the masses. We've already witnessed the, the development of deep fake technology, which can create convincing counterfeit videos. This raises concerns about the potential for AI driven deception on a grand scale during the end times. That's the same exact concerns that I myself have. It's interesting that the AI is saying, hey, you're justified to have this concern. Part number two, the mark of the beast. It says Revelation 13, 16 through 18 describes the infamous, the infamous mark of the beast that will be imposed upon humanity during the reign of the Antichrist. While the exact nature of this mark is not specified, it, it is plausible that AI and related technologies may play a role in its implementation. For instance, biometric identification systems, embedded microchips, or even neural implants could be connected to AI systems for monitoring and control, such as, ed do y'all just, I, I, I swear to you on everything that I love, I have not read this yet. It literally said biometric identification systems, such as neuro implants, do this technology in order to usher the mark of the beast. Wow. Such advancements raise ethical questions and remind us to be vigilant in discerning the potential dangers they pose. Point number three, we're almost done. The battle of good and evil. Throughout the book of Revelation, we, 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 I can't believe I'm reading a sermon created by AI. Throughout the book of Revelation, we witness an ongoing spiritual battle between the forces of good and evil. The rise of AI presents a unique challenge in this regard. While technology itself is not inherently evil, it can be misused and manipulated by those with malicious intent. As AI continues to progress, we must remain alert to its potential to be exploited for nefarious purposes, as well as its potential to aid in the, sp in the spreading of the gospel and advancing the kingdom of God. Here's the last point, point number four, trust in God's sovereignty. While it's crucial to be aware of the potential impl implications of AI in the end times, we must never lose sight of God's sovereignty. Sovereignty. Technology may advance, but God's plan remains unshakable. This is AI. Wow. The book of Revelation ultimately reveals that Christ will return in glory to establish his eternal kingdom. No matter how powerful or deceptive AI may become, it is ultimately subject to God's divine authority. In conclusion, we must consider the role artificial intelligence the role of artificial intelligence in the end times, according to the book of Revelation. Let us be discerning and prayerful. We should embrace the advancements of technology with caution and a firm foundation in God's word. Our focus must remain on living faithfully and in anticipation of Christ's return, spreading the gospel of salvation, abiding in God's love and truth. Remember, no matter how advanced technology becomes, 
it cannot replace the love, grace, and eternal hope that we find in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. May we trust in God's wisdom and find peace in him as we navigate the complexities of our rapidly changing world. Amen. That was entirely written by AI. That was a sermon entirely written by AI. Now, I will say the AI is correct. It is correct. Remember, no matter how advanced technology becomes, it cannot replace the love, grace, and eternal hope that we find in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And ultimately, all of this technology is subject to God's divine authority. The AI is 100% correct about that. 